Uh, today, uh, what we're going to talk about is writing equations, writing different types of equations, equations in different forms. And like I said, we've got a lot to talk about, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to discover that uh, uh, the equations are written in either what we call slope-intercept form, standard form, or point-slope point form. Whichever form your teacher requests, we're going to show you today how to write the equation in that form. The number one thing that you're going to need to do is have either, you're going to have to have two things. You're going to have to have a point, and then you're going to have to have a slope. So anytime your teacher asks you to write an equation, you must have two things. You must have a point, and you must have a slope. All right, so let's get started. Let's practice uh, calculating a lot of slopes because, as I said, you got to have two things. You got to have a point. You have you have to have a slope. A lot of mistakes are made when finding the slope. Let's get started by uh, calculating a lot of slopes. Here we go. So first slope we're going to calculate is between these two points. All right. So we have a slope equation, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All right. That's the equation we're going to use to calculate the slope. Let's call this x2, let's call that x, or excuse me, y2, x2, y2, and let's call this x1, y1. All right, now we're going to substitute into this slope formula. The y2 is negative 2. We bring the minus sign over, bring that minus sign over. y1 is negative 1 over x2, which is negative 7, minus, I'm just bringing that minus sign over, x1 is 3. So you end up with negative 2 minus a negative 1, which is negative 1, over negative 7 minus 3 is negative 10. The slope simplifies to 1 tenth. So that's the first thing you need. We told you that you got to have two things to write the equation of a line. You have to have the slope and you have to have a point. We just calculated the slope. We've also introduced a mastery level understanding. If you'd like, you could have called this y2 or x2, uh, y2, x1, y2, and you should end up with the same thing. All right, so let's write the equation of this line where, where we, we write everything in slope-intercept form. All right, so we have a slope, and now all we're going to do is just use a point. Let's use this point right here, 3, negative 1. You'd substitute in negative 1 in for y. If the slope was 1 tenth. The x value was 3. I'm ignoring this point entirely when I write the equation. So the x value is 3 plus b. I'm going to solve for b. So you have negative 1 is equal to 3 tenths plus b. You're going to solve for this b. You subtract 3 tenths, subtract 3 tenths, and you end up with b, the y-intercept, is equal to, the, another way to say negative 1 is 10 tenths, Negative 10 tenths minus 3 tenths, which is negative 13 tenths. And now you have all that you need to write the equation of this line. Uh, you're going to substitute into m, and you're going to substitute into the y-intercept. So the equation is y is equal to, substitute into m, which was 1 tenth x plus the y-intercept, which we found to be negative 13 tenths. That's the final answer. So to write this equation, we needed to find the slope. We found that first, and then we calculated the y-intercept with this point. Don't, don't only use either this point, you use either this point or this point, but not both. I chose to use this point. If you have any questions on that, call in. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this same problem, but what we're going to do is we're going to write the equation in a standard form, what's called standard form. Standard form, uh, you, you want two things. You want all your variables on one side of the equal sign and no fractions. All the variables on one side, no fractions. All right, so let's take a look. It might be good if you use this to write your standard equation. So I'm going to use this to write the equation. I want all my variables on one side, and then, I, like I said, no fractions. All right, so let's rewrite this problem. We've got y is equal to 1 tenth x minus 13 tenths, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all my variables to one side, and I want all my numbers on the other side, and I want no fractions. All right, here we go. I'm going to move this y over here. I'm going to subtract y on both sides. I end up with 0 is equal to 1 
tenth x minus y minus 13 over 10, and now I'm going to move this number over here. I have all my letters on one side, and I've got all my numbers on the other side. If I add that over, I'll end up with 13, I'll end up with 1 tenth, x, that's on one side, minus y, that's on one side, and then I'll say equal to, I'll add the 13 tenths over, and then that would end up being on the other side, all right? So I'm leaving this on one side, and I'm moving this 13 tenths on the other side, I'd be adding it, I end up with 1 tenth x minus y is equal to 13 tenths. Oh, you can't see, I'm very sorry, very sorry about that. So now, no fraction, so I'm going to multiply all of this by the common denominator, which in this case would be 10, and I end up with x minus 10 times 1 tenth is just 1x, 10 times minus y is minus 10y, and 10 times 13 over 10 is 13. This, this is the same thing as this. This equation, this equation here is the same thing as this. You know how sometimes at home you have your own, your real name. My, my, my name is Eric Hendricks, but my mom, she calls me Rick. My family, they call me Rick. Uh, some of my, uh, my uh, some people call me Eric. I, so I go, I go by Eric, I go by Mr. Hendricks, I go by Rick. All of those names I identify, uh, when you're talking to me, I'll, I'll respond to all those names. It, similarly, similarly, this is one way of writing this equation, and this is another way of writing the same equation. It's the same equation written in different forms. This is called slope-intercept form. This is called standard form. Again, standard form has all your variables on one side and no fractions. With the slope-intercept form, it's okay to have fractions. All right, last form. This is called point-slope form. Again, you need a point and a slope. All right, so you're going to substitute into here, here, and here. Okay, so we have y minus, you need a y value. The y value we've chosen is negative 1. So we have y minus negative 1 is equal to the slope. The slope we already found, which was 1 tenth. So we have 1 tenth times x minus, we have to substitute in, we have to substitute in here. So the x value, uh, the x value was 3. All right, so we have x minus 3. So now we simplify this to be y minus a negative 1, same thing as y plus 1, is equal to 1 tenth times x minus 3. All right, so this is a third way of writing the same equation. Point slope form, standard form, and slope intercept form. Okay, so we've written the same equation in three different ways. I hope that helps. Um, some of the students said, hey, Mr. Andrews, can you show us how to write the equation in more than one way? And we just did. If we had more time, we'd do another example, but I want to move to an entirely different kind of problem. The whole day is writing equations. That's all we're talking about, writing equations. And if, 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 do you remember what I said, the two things you need when you write an equation? That's right. You need a point and a slope.